Hey, we're Shake at Homie. So today I got another 3D printer from Flying Bear. I recently did an unboxing of their Shine DLP 3D printer. Well, this is one of their newest Cartesian style printers. So your traditional style 3D printer. This one looks really unique though. It's like kind of like enclosed. And then the Z-axis moves down instead of, you know, going up. So the bed actually lowers. Um, very cool. Um, looks like a really cool design. It has Wi-Fi wi enabled. It's got power off, like if you if you accidentally sh shut the power off, you can resume after power outage, um, or if you accidentally unplug it or something like that. No, it also has a filament sensor, and it looks like really high quality and uh, pretty unique, you know, not just, it doesn't look just like, you know, every other 3D printer, so really cool. So the good people over at Flying Bear sent me this, and uh, I believe I'm one of the first people to take a look at this. Um, this is not a paid video or anything, um, they just sent me the printer, and yeah, so. I'm happy to check it out. Um, they have an Ally Express store. I'll have all their links to all their social medias and everything. Um, they're gonna have a big sale on August 28th on their Ally Express store. So if you're seeing this before that, um, you're gonna want to check that out. So they packaged this really nice. This came UPS, and it only took a couple days from China. I think it took like five or six days. Okay, so we got all the plastic wrap off. Okay, and now we're you cut into the regular box. Okay, so this is a DIY kit, but it comes like I'd say like 60% assembled. It looks pretty simple to put together. All the electronics are already all wired up and everything. Okay, first thing we're greeted with is a picking list of everything in the box. Okay, we got that garbage. Okay, and here we got the user guide. Uh, it looks like the bed is insulated. So once again, another, you know, it doesn't, you know, it looks high quality. I mean, even the bed is insulated. Um, so far, so good. I might have opened this. Oh no, this is the right way. I was thinking maybe I opened it upside down. But. Okay, so this is going to be like our bed assembly and our gantry, I believe, on this part. Yeah. So it's all still kind of wired together here. Um, you know what? I'm going to actually cut the box. I think that's easier. Staples in the same. Very good packaging on this one, I must say. Okay. Okay, then here we got our control box and everything. I think this is the acrylic frame, but it's that it's not that clear acrylic that breaks easy, it's that it feels, I don't know, more robust. Okay, so then we just got some screws. Looks like our bearings for our linear rods for the bed. Um, springs, couplers. I think these are going to be our walls. Yep, and our threaded arms and rods for the bed. Um, one more threaded rod. Not sure, maybe part of the spool holder. Some screws, Allen wrenches. Okay. Yeah, lots of foam. Very well packaged. Right it around in here to take out. Okay. And here, okay, here is, oh, and the bed, it looks very similar to the Anycubic Ultra Base. So this is a really nice texture. Everything sticks nice here. You don't really have to use any glue stick or anything. Uh, and it looks like there was already a test print they did on here. There's just some debris on there. So very cool that it looks like this was tested. Um, the bed is a plug in cable. Um, but yeah, everything looks nice. I mean, it's made mostly out of metal. We got a small spool of filament. And uh, here is, okay, here's the gantry. Let me get this out of here. Okay. What's the deal with this foam? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay, they weren't even hooked together. Okay, so here is the gantry. The hot end assembly. See, the only 3D printed part so far you can see is the 
the fan shroud. It looks very nice. It's got dual Z axis. Or actually, never mind. It's, I don't know how this works because it's all on pulleys and everything. So I guess it's got dual. This would be the Y axis, yeah. Or the X axis. Yeah, because it's Z's which goes up and down. So I think everything is dual th threaded rods. Um, except the Z, and maybe that is, no that might be too, I think yeah, yeah, everything is dual threaded rods, looks like all the connectors just plug in, so this looks pretty simple, um, okay, and we just got our motors here, and they have the installation videos on their YouTube channel, and then there's also a provided um, SD card, so I'm going to load up the provided SD card on my computer, um, and then we'll just uh, time lapse me putting this thing together, but um, it looks very high quality. Uh, it looks really nice so far. It's all LCD touch screen. Um, yeah, it's 2018. It looks like the printers are starting to get more, more advanced. Okay guys, so I got it all set up. It took about an hour and a half. So really not bad. Um, fired it up. We get a little, oops, didn't mean to bump the camera there. Okay guys, it took me an hour and a half to put it together. It went together really good actually. Um, no, not, not hard at all. The videos are actually perfect. It just goes along with the video. Um, there's nothing that's different from the videos, like some printers I've unboxed. Um, just really, really simple. About an hour and a half, but nothing was hard, or really, or anything. Just a little tedious. Not too bad, though. Um, but it's really cool. It is all touch screen. So first off, let's uh, make sure it works. Let's like auto home it. And so far, it's working the X home, the Y home, the Z is going up. So I can check to make sure it home works just by hitting the button, and it does. Okay, so now, um, this printer is Wi-Fi accessible, so I'm gonna have to set it up with Wi-Fi. Um, you know, I, I've run, in, you know, run some uh, test prints, see what comes with it, um, if there's any test prints on the card. Um, I'll do just a couple standard prints, and then I'll print some really cool stuff. So, but first impressions, it's, Really sleek design, really cool looking. I love the all black. Um, the bed is insulated, and being that it's enclosed like this, I am pretty sure I'm going to be able to do high temperature materials like ABS. Um, I really like just the way the touch screen is. Let me show you that up close. So, yeah, I mean, all touch screen, which is really nice. So, it's got like your preheat settings, tools. Uh, what's in there? Okay, emergency stop, extruder cooling, all that stuff. Uh, we'll go back. We got change filament, Wi-Fi. Set that up. Move it. That's where you auto home. Um, print. That's where you have your files. And another pre and a preheat setting. So, you know, really nice. Um, yeah, but uh, let's uh, enough talking. Let's start printing.
Okay guys, here's that Benchy I showed the time lapse of. And uh, yeah, it actually turned out very good for my first print, some slight stringing. But for stock settings, I'm very, very impressed with that. And then this spin top also came out really good. Uh, we'll test it out later, we'll see if it actually works. Um, but yeah, it printed beautifully. Now I'm printing this Dragon, I'll show you when this is done. My buddy Mark designed this, I'll put the link in the description. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful statue. And it's being able to be printed on 0% infill, so it's printing quite fast. This printer, first things I notice is it heats up extremely fast. This insulated bed, it, it heats up, like it starts printing in like a minute after you hit print. It's freaking awesome. Uh, I haven't played with the Wi-Fi yet, this is going to be the next thing I do. But these are all PLA. Next I'm going to load up some wood filament. We're going to see how that goes, and then we're going to try some ABS. But based on the bed being insulated, there being a partial enclosure, and just that, so far this seems really high quality. I think it's going to be able to print ABS, no problem, especially with this um, glass, you know, textured glass platform. Seems to stick well with ABS. So, yeah, so that'll be the next thing I try. But so far we are going great. I'll show you this when it is done. But so far, so good. The only thing about this printer that is kind of a pain is to film time lapses. I gotta keep like moving the camera down because this goes down. But I do actually like how the bed goes down instead of the extruder going up. I feel like there's less, this is less jerking around and stuff. And this printer, I noticed this is extremely stable. Um, I had a Tronxy printer like this and it was really wobbly. This is extremely, extremely stable. So, freaking awesome. Okay guys, so you've already seen the time lapse of this Groot, but I think it turned out beautifully. This was done in wood filament. Um, yeah, it's still stuck to the build plate here. Use my bell song and uh, get him off here. And uh, yeah, I think he turned out absolutely beautiful. So I'll show some more up close pictures um, with some shots in better lighting. But now I'm going to load this up with some ABS. So far, PLA and wood, um, I've been able to just print great on this thing so yeah really liking this printer and uh yeah let's uh, i still gotta try out the wi-fi as well but let's try some uh abs Okay guys, let me bring you up to speed. I've had this printer a week now, and uh, you guys saw time lapses of most of these. Um, the uh, PLA prints were absolutely beautiful, um, especially this one and this one. This was really after I fine-tuned my settings. I have, oh crap, dropped it. I had some Hatchbox ABS. I printed one of these in wood fill as well, these little Groots. Um, yeah, and this was Hatchbox ABS that I used. Uh, you already saw the time lapse of that, but here's proof it's still connected to my printer that was printed in ABS. So this printer can handle ABS really well. I believe partially because of the enclosure, but also to this, the glass bed it has is so nice and the bed is insulated. So both those reasons together, uh, it makes ABS prints um, perfectly. The Wi-Fi setup to set this up for Wi-Fi, I'll put the video link uh, in the description. Uh, to, to watch it up, but it's really similar to setting up a wireless router. Um, you go here, and uh, you just basically hit refresh till an IP address comes up. And this isn't my exact IP; it gives you a new one and stuff, and that's what you put in. But yeah, it's a it's a 
about a 15 minute long process, but once you get it set up, uh, it's good to go. Now here I got Repertor Host open up and I'm just going to start a print wirelessly, as you can see. Um, my cord is not connected. And as well as on my printer here, I'll take the SD card is out. So you know I'm not printing, I'm, I'm doing this wirelessly. Uh, this is actually my first time ever sending a print wirelessly. So let's try this out and start print. I did all the, oh, and the printer is already auto homing. Once again, there's nothing hooked up to it. This is all wireless. And this is my first printer that I can just send prints to wirelessly. And then it comes up with like your printer face setting uh, right there so you can manage it as it prints. So really cool. First printer I've had that does the JG Aurora A5 said they could do this, but it didn't work. This is the first printer I've had that out of the box. Um, it worked really good. Yeah, so it is just doing its regular stuff, heating up and everything. But I'm very impressed that it can print wirelessly and also very impressed with the high quality prints I was able to get, especially with the ABS. Uh, overall, having this printer a week, this is maybe my favorite printer ever. Um, it's, you know, it's not big enough to do giant, giant like helmets, basically anything else. I mean, it's a fairly large build volume. It can do pretty much anything else. You can do ABS, you can do PETG, wood, carbon fiber, you can do basically any material. So, um, very reliable machine, and overall, so far, I'm very impressed with it. Okay, guys, so in conclusion, this printer is freaking awesome. It's very, like, high-tech looking. It's got a lot of high-tech features, both with the LCD screen, the power off, the resume after power off. You got the filament sensor. Um, but overall, it's just a very high-quality machine. You notice it's, it's not really loud at all. You could have this in a room, you know, and it wouldn't really bug anybody. If you had it in, like, your living, your living room, you know, you wouldn't have to turn the TV up really loud or anything to hear, to, you know, hear the TV. It's not that loud. I mean, it prints every type of material I have tried. So, I mean, that is just freaking awesome. I really like just the quality build of it, though. I mean, granted, these panels are just acrylic, but these just fit over the frame. The frame is all solid metal. I like how all the electronics are in here. Um, if you're somebody that likes to tinker and take things apart, well, then it's going to be a little harder to get in there. You know, but besides that, I mean, it's... I mean, if you're really somebody that is into that stuff, you'll figure out how to get in there. But, I mean... It, other than that, I mean, this thing is just a beast. I haven't had a single, like, I've had, like, one failed print because I didn't have the extruder hot enough. So it wasn't even the printer's fault. Um, it is just rock solid, too. Like, it's printing right now, and I can, like, pick it up, move it. You know, it's not going to adjust or affect anything. I like how sturdy the bed is. I, I'm always worried on the printers that, that move like this that the bed is going to wobble and stuff. But I can, like, grab this and move it, and it, the printer doesn't move. And, like, I, I can try to move it. It doesn't do anything. So, very solid. I love the glass bed. Um, it's basically probably the most high-tech printer I have. I like to see new companies stepping out of the box, you know, not just doing the same thing everyone else is doing. Like, you know, this isn't just a clone of a CR-10. Um, it's kind of its own thing. I love how it's partially enclosed. That really helps um, with um, the ABS. A lot of times you can have an ABS printer, and it's printing good, but then the changes in temperature in your room, maybe you turn on your air conditioning or you turn on a fan, it'll make it crack or something during the print. Here, because it's enclosed for the most part, it's not really going to catch the breezes too much. You could very easily cover off the front and the top and make it fully enclosed, but I don't even think you have to. I think it's great how it is. So, Flying Bear, you guys did a great job with this printer. I will have the full review of the Shine up in a couple days. I already did the unboxing. You can check it that. Once again, this is not paid. I didn't get paid for this. I'm not using affiliate links. Um, everything is just going to be their LA Express store I'm going to put in the links. Um, yeah, so I won't make any money off this. This is just, I mean, I got the printer, but I, they weren't in, I mean, I could do, I could review it however I want. So this is just a totally unbiased review, and I think this thing is freaking awesome. I'm not, some of these printers I get, I've reviewed a lot of printers. Some of them I give to my friends, my family. I've sold a couple because I only have so much room for printers. I currently have eight printers. This one I'm definitely keeping. I'm never getting rid of this one. This printer just hauls. It's awesome. It's really fun to use. I like that it works good wirelessly. That's, that's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah. And the company's been very nice. When I talk to them and everything, they're very nice people. 
And uh, I just like how they're not just copying everybody else. They got something new and original. So thank you so much, Flying Bear, for hooking it up with this. Uh, I would love to look at any other products you come out in the future. So when you come out with anything cool, don't forget about your boy. I got you. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get back to playing with this. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. It could be something cool. You never know. I'll see you later.